Hi, SAS student friends. This is Tony Forsyth. I am the nurse practitioner with SAS student Direct. I just wanted to share um, some tips with you about label reading. Um, so first things first, the less labels you have to read, the better, right? Because we want to be eating real, whole, fresh foods. You want to stay on the outside of the grocery store. I'm sure you've heard that before, where the vegetables are, the fruits are, the beans, the nuts, the seeds, the lean proteins, like fish and chicken and things like that. But, you know, it's almost impossible um, to get away completely from the labels. So I wanted to share a few tips with you today on how to um, read labels. So the first thing you have to do is read the label. So you want to pick up the, um, the food item and you want to turn it around. Um, a lot of newer, um, the newer trend I can see is um, the healthier foods are putting the labels on the front, kind of what's in it. You can see some bars out there that have listed on it what's in it. Um, but for the most part, you turn it over and you read the label. You want to look at the ingredients, right? So if it has the word, um, well, first of all, the less ingredients, the better. Um, the general rule of thumb is if it has more than five ingredients, put it down um, and, and walk away. Um, but you also want to look at uh, various words. If you see the words hydrogenated or partially hydrogenated or things like high fructose corn syrup, um, those are really bad ingredients. You don't want to do that. You want to um, also be aware of health claims. You know, you'll see healthy, if, they're, if they have to announce that they're healthy, um, it's usually not very good for you. So be aware of that as well. Um, also look at the ingredient list. So I always say if, if my third grader can't read it, um, if there's a lot of chemically, um, that's what my third grader calls chemically ingredients. Um, if, if your third grader can't read it like salt, water, tomatoes, um, not a good thing. Uh, if your grandmother wouldn't put it in her soup, then like maltodextrin, then it's probably best to stay away from it. Um, another general rule of thumb is if your grandma or your great grandma, depending on how old you are, um, wouldn't have recognized it, then it's best to stay away from it. Like, you know, Lunchables and, and you know, Gogurt sticks and things like that, probably best to just stay away from it. Um, you also want to look at the serving size. So sometimes you'll see, um, you know, like a pint of ice cream and it'll, if you turn it over, it'll say four serving sizes. Yet, you know, it's, um, most people eat the whole pint themselves. Um, or sodas that have, you know, two and a half serving sizes. You don't see, um, you know, people sharing sodas. So you got to be really careful about um, serving sizes. And most people also know at restaurants, we get bigger and bigger, you know, meals being served to us. So serving size is really important to look at. You also want to look for fiber. Um, in general, if there's no fiber, it's probably not very good for you. Um, also sugar, this is a big one. You want to look at sugar and know how to convert it. Um, so they list it in grams. So we should know that four grams is equivalent to one teaspoon. So if you're looking at something, um, say a, a pop, and it has 40 grams of sugar, we know that that's um, 10 teaspoons of sugar. So a lot of times I will literally, if I'm trying to get somebody off of pop, I will have them load up a glass, literally measuring out 10 teaspoons um, of sugar and, and see if they would drink that. Uh, but again, lots of sugar out there in hidden items, so know how to convert that. Um, and also the general um, daily intake for a man is 9 teaspoons um, or 36 grams of sugar. And for females, it's 6, so 24 grams. So just, again, be aware of that. They don't even list the um, daily percentage of sugar on the label either because they don't want you to know that your, you know, your yogurt drink is about 300% your daily intake for um, sugar. Uh, keep an eye on overall carbs, uh, but also know that there's a big difference between carbs from say vegetables and beans and you know nuts and seeds and things like that versus carbs from high fructose corn syrup and um, sugars and things like that and pops and other foods. Um, I love this. Michael Pollan says, eat food, not too much, and mostly plants. I think that's good words to live by. We want to eat whole, real, fresh, food, um, the basics of health, you know, are learning how to cook and, and you don't have to be a bon appetit cook and fix really fancy things, really simple. Um, but learn how to cook, learn how to shop, 
you know, learn how to eat to nourish your body and just take care of yourself. Mark Hyman, I love this. He says, if you have one body and it doesn't come uh, with a manual. And so you really need to, you know, learn how it works and learn how to work with it or ultimately it will work against you. So um, these are just a few tips. We're gonna share also an article that goes into more detail written by Dr. Mark Hyman. Um, and I hope that you found this helpful and happy label reading.